So if you are a history buff, are you a history buff? Yes, I am. Okay, Mike history. is a history buff. Well, we have a tour that you may want to check out this holiday season. It is at the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. Set back in the 1800s, I think, our Randall Newsom is giving us a look inside. <laughs> He's all dead Looking down. very dapper there, there Randall. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, so yes, expect? yes. You can expect. Yeah. You can expect this right here. Uh -oh. Okay. You can. You, you see. You see what I'm rocking right now. Okay, guys. Hey, you see the duds. Okay. Look. Call me Major Randall from now on. Matter of fact, when I get back, call me Major Randall. <laughs> All right. Look. Check this out. This is actually not just a walking stick. This is a pretty cool thing. And I'm gonna let our personal tour guide, Whitney Ball, tell you what this is right here. Um, yes. It is a gift to. Benjamin Harrison, he was a centennial uh, president. He was elected 100 years after George Washington. So this was a part of the centennial celebration. That is so cool. OK, so this is just one of the things you can expect to see when you come here. Mm -hmm. What are the things that people are most excited about coming to see? Yeah, um, celebrating uh, the the season, um, seeing the, the house decorated, and uh, hearing different <laughs> stories about uh, the holidays. Awesome. OK, what do you feel like is the best part about when people get to come in and kind of go back in time and check out you know this site and what it has to offer um, I just think being in the house seeing it decorated and and um, all the stories that come along with the holidays and um, I think it's really important and exciting no, yeah, hopefully I and made it's it's an exciting yeah. time of year always people, but this uh, makes it even more exciting awesome. okay we got to talk about live performances we have our very own World War one soldier you look I, I feel good because I'm an outfit just like you so <laughs> all right so sir how do you feel about just the performance that you're going to put on and, and taking people back to that time. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, the stories through the house are of different eras, different times, different stories. And mine's a World War I Christmas, uh, Christmas 1914. The war had only been going on for a few months. started in August, and so it was a very special, interesting Christmas. So that's the story I'll be telling. Awesome. But as you go through the house, just different things. Why is it special to you to be able to do this? Well, what, and you've only been doing it a, a little while now, so why is it so special to you to get involved? Yeah, um, for me, I've, I'm a history buff. I have been for a long time. Um, I actually volunteer here at the Benjamin Harrison House, and I just enjoy getting other people interested in history and getting, telling exciting stories and showing that history isn't some dull sort of thing. It's, it's fun. Awesome. Okay, so I, f I feel good because, you know, I, I feel official like, like you are. What, what, why do you feel like it's important to be authentic and kind of show what these guys used to really look like back in the day? Well, for one thing, um, it's just a different type of dress. This thing's like metal, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's it's all heavy. It's all heavy wool uniforms, and it just it's a really different kind of style, and it just really kind of brings brings it to life. Awesome. Okay, I, I, I feel like my style is now brought to life, guys. Ma Major Randall. Okay, mm -hmm. Whitney, how, how do you feel about about the outfit? How, how am I looking right now? You look good. I look yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? <laughs> no, not again. Not again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's lied to me before. That's why she had to say that, okay, because at first I didn't know what she was going to have me in, but I feel good about this whole get up. I think I'm going to wear this back to the station, guys. How we feel? You feel good? <laughs> That's I'll tell what, you what I'm worried about. He's not going to want to take it off. <laughs> and remember, if she lied to you once, that doesn't mean she won't lie to you again. She'll lie to you again. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right, Mike. You're complete. You're, you're, she might lie to me again. Right. You're exactly. right. Exactly. <laughs> that looks your good. Feelings. That looks good. <laughs> Thanks, Randall. All right, still coming all